Hello, can you believe the sitcom Dad's Army was released 55 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. I think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of then and now. Where are these actors now, who made it to Hollywood and who passed away? Find the answer in our video. John Lee Masurier was born on April 5, 1912, in Bedford, United Kingdom. He portrayed the character Surgeon Arthur Wilson in the sitcom when he was 56 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 1983, he passed away at 71, leaving us deeply saddened. It's for supper, and the Scouts had decided to have them for supper as well. Well, there wouldn't have been any left for them because we'd have eaten them all. <laughs> but if the, if the words, if the script is right, uh, then everything sort of follows, provided it's presumably well cast and reasonably... Arthur Lowe was born on September 22, 1915, in Hayfield, Derbyshire, England. He portrayed the character Captain George Minwaring in the sitcom when he was 53 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 1982, he passed away at 66, leaving us deeply saddened. I to test these artists to have uh, a weekend camp, and I thought the best time to have that would be at the weekend. <laughs> Thank you, Fraser. And uh, the other half were too old to jump over the fences anymore. They said, look at you in surprise, you know. I said, well, but uh, TV people. Ian Lavender was born on February 16, 1946, in Birmingham, England. He portrayed the character Frank Pike in the TV series when he was 22 years old in 1968. He is now living happily at 77. But my wife and my sons and my friends um, was absolutely instrumental in, in the treatment working. Clive Dunn was born on January 9, 1920, in Brixton, London, England. He portrayed the character Corporal Jack Jones in the sitcom when he was 48 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 2012, he passed away at 92, leaving us deeply saddened. He really fell for a beautiful young lady who was in service in one of the great halls nearby. Are you listening, sir? Yes, of course. So I have happy memories of working with him over, over that period. Yeah. Mm. He's the one, you know, told me who, he was, uh, when, he, when he got out of the taxi. Bill Pertwee was born on July 21st, 1926, in Amersham, Buckinghamshire, England. He portrayed the character Chief Warden Hodges in the sitcom when he was 42 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 2013, he passed away at 86, leaving us deeply saddened. That's a natural mark, isn't it, Mannery? Bullying little boys? Why did you pick on someone your own size? Come on, try having a go at me. Come on, come on. Oh, Hold my glass. Their own uh, a, a great ability. I mean, they. they they had tremendous ability, you know. You see, John, John Laurie was, was such great value. Was that and he was, he was Frank Williams was born on July 2nd, 1931, in Edgware, Middlesex, England. He portrayed the character Reverend Timothy Farthing in the sitcom when he was 38 years old in 1969. We regret to inform you that in 2022, he passed away at the age of 90, leaving us deeply saddened. Bless you. Um, <laughs> that's rather taken the wind out of my sails. I, I came in here to be very cross with you, Mr. Mannering. Well, the, the knowledge we have is it's a world-class engine. It's probably, not certainly, but probably going to be the, the engine of the year. Colin Bean was born on April 15, 1926, in Wigan, England. He portrayed the character Private Sponge in the TV series when he was 42 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 2009, he passed away at 83, leaving us deeply saddened. Uh, don't interrupt me unless something absolutely vital happens. Uh, what sort of vital, sir? Oh, like uh, the arrival of the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Wives and partners came up with us, you know, and we had a, a ball for 10 days. And I was called it my 10 days paid holiday. Arnold Ridley was born on January 7, 1896, in Walcott, Bath, Somerset, England. 
He portrayed the character Charles Goffrey in the sitcom when he was 72 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 1984, he passed away at the age of 88, leaving us deeply saddened. Man, it hasn't come through yet. Mr. Mr. Hodges. John Lowry was born on March 25, 1897, in Dumfries, Scotland. He portrayed the character James Fraser in the sitcom when he was 71 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 1980, he passed away at 83, leaving us deeply saddened. Rode ashore, armed to the teeth, and set off through the jungle to find the temple. After about two hours, hacking our way through the... Janet Davies was born on September 14, 1927, in Wakefield, West Riding of Yorkshire, England. She portrayed the character Mrs. Mavis Pike in the sitcom when she was 41 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 1986, she passed away at the age of 59, leaving us deeply saddened. Please, Mrs. Pike. Oh, then I just told Arthur, I mean Sergeant Wilson, that I needed 50 pounds for the back rent. If I were you, I'd just I'd give that. James Beck was born on February 21st, 1929, in Islington, London, England. He portrayed the character Joe Walker in the TV series when he was 39 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 1973, he passed away at 44, leaving us deeply saddened. You make our way there, and you keep your trap shut, I might be able to help you. Yes, I think we can rely on our discretion. Yeah, oh, there is another thing, Captain Mannering. Go keep your hands to yourself. Harold Bennett was born on November 17, 1898, in Hastings, Sussex, England. He portrayed the character Mr. Bluett in the TV series when he was 71 years old in 1969. We regret to inform you that in 1981, he passed away at the age of 82, leaving us deeply saddened. <laughs> oh, what a pity. <laughs> Never mind, we'll have another one. <laughs> See, there's no extra charge, is there? Edward Sinclair was born on February 3, 1914, in Oldham, Lancashire, England. He portrayed the character Virgo Morris Yeatman in the sitcom when he was 54 years old in 1968. We regret to inform you that in 1977, he passed away at 63, leaving us deeply saddened. Are you alright, Mr. Watson? You look as if you're going to have a heart attack. I've waited months for this moment. Who is your favorite character in the sitcom Dad's Army? If you like the video, I invite you to hit the like button. And if you like this type of content, you can also hit the subscribe button. This is Turnback Time, and I hope you have a wonderful day.